there are many problems with identity politics. I'm gonna focus on just one today. Um, identity politics, as a definition, is a political approach wherein people of a particular race, nationality, religion, gender, sexual orientation, social background, social class, or other identifying factors develop political agendas that are based upon these identities. And there's a term that I prefer when discussing, a term I find more useful than identity politics, which is primary emergency, which is that if you, when I was doing a lot of interviews for The Sun back in the 90s and early 2000s, I noticed I was interviewing a lot more men than women. And part of the reason for that was that if I was going to interview somebody about how public relations firms were harmful, that would probably be a man. Um, if I was going to interview somebody about stopping men from beating on women, that would probably be a woman. And the reason is because if you're a woman, probably your primary emergency is men's violence against women. So you work on some issue. There are some women who work on other issues, obviously, a lot of women who work on other issues. But um, if you are, if you grew up in a, a family of, um, of Mexican-American workers or Mexican-American people who are working in, this, in the San Joaquin Valley, then probably your primary emergency is conditions on farms. And if you're a farmer, probably your primary emergency is, is, is conditions on farms in, in another sense. And if you're African-American, your primary emergency probably has to do with, with things associated with being African-American. And that all makes sense. The problem with identity politics is when your politics are shaped by that identity and it becomes a larger, and everything is seen through that lens. It's one thing to devote your life to a certain issue. A way I say this is that my friend Charlotte Watson used to run the Battered Women's Program for the state of New York. And now she's a woman's advocate, an advocate for women in the court system. And I would always say, nobody would expect her to care about salmon because she has her hands full trying to stop men's violence against women. The problem with identity politics, or one of the problems with identity politics is that every one of those identities is specifically human centric. So if your primary concern is, not your primary concern, but if your identity is African-American, or if your identity is woman, not your identity, but it's, if, if that's your politics, is to do the things that help that particular group of people, who speaks for salmon? Who speaks for buffalo? Who speaks for trees? Who speaks for insects? Nobody, because none of us are salmon. It ultimately ends up being about how do I improve the lot of my group. And that's an important thing to do. That's why I, I don't have a problem with people dealing with their primary emergencies. That's incredibly important. But when your identity politics are, I need to improve the lot of my group. Again, every single time the land loses because the land is not part of anybody's identity group. And we can talk all we want about how indigenous people have relationships with the land, but at this point within the capitalist system, within the industrial system, what there's a one-to-one -one correspondence with what Indian nations do is related to what sort of money they can get. Whether Indians support oil development on their land, oil exploration on their land, has to do with how much money they're gonna get because they want to improve their conditions within the capitalist system. And that's part of, it's one way that we all get pulled into what Mumford called the magnificent bribe, which is how is it that we have so bought into the system? And the reason we've all bought into the system and the reason we don't oppose the murder of the planet is because we have been bribed with access to ice cream 24 seven. That's not what he says, that's just a short version. We've been bribed with access to, to more power more comfort than an emperor would have had 
600 years ago, 100 years ago, 200 years ago, instantaneous communication and travel. And everybody wants their piece of the pie. And that would be fine if we had an infinite pie. But again, one of the primary problems with identity politics is that there are no representatives who will speak unabashedly and unalloyedly for the health of the land and the health of the planet because nobody identifies as a tree or with a tree. It's all these, it's intra, it's specifically intra-human and as such will never be helpful to the natural world.